is still ongoing. And just into the newsroom, a deadly crash also in Rose Park. Police say it started as a call for drunk drivers, which started a chase. At 1200 West and 500 North, the suspect vehicle hit another car. The driver of that vehicle died. The passenger of the suspect vehicle was taken to the hospital. The driver was arrested and could face charges of DUI, as well as charges related to the death. Well, right now, this Coming up, a group of deaf students getting out of the classroom for a real life experience. And how Utah managed their feelings. A group of deaf students from Utah and Idaho getting out of the classroom for a little real life experience. Learning about the different, different experiences, about what it'll be like in the future and having different jobs. It's called Deaf Town USA, where students learn about financial literacy in their very own make-believe city. Each student is assigned a different career or role, and then work together to set their community plans, budgets, and action items. All this being done in American Sign Language with the help of interpreters when needed. They can experience advocating for themselves, having a job, communicating with others when trying to accomplish a job task. So this gives them real life application experience and advocacy for themselves. Deaf Town USA was put on by the Utah School for the Deaf and Junior Achievement City. And Debbie is back okay. in her seat. Right here. <laughs> I am now where I'm supposed to be. Keep your distance. And on a lighter side here, a big Halloween party and daybreak today, complete with hollowed out giant pumpkins racing on Daybreak Lake. The 10-year tradition brought in big crowds and included kid train rides, ping pong, pumpkin painting, throwing, and even pie eating contests. The Utah <laughs> Jazz Bear raced a giant pumpkin. Organizers say the enormous pumpkin regatta brings out hundreds of people from the southwest end of the Salt Lake Valley. Now That's remember that used to be at Sugar House Park. Oh, and really? then they moved it and they said it's even gotten bigger since oh. they started doing it out at daybreak. At daybreak? Wow. Yeah, a lot of yeah. room there. So that's I bet pretty it was cool. a lot of fun. For it. Yeah, I didn't for know sure. they, those big pumpkins float like that. So that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. We'll be back tonight at 10 o'clock. Or is nine. it 9? Nine. 9. It's 9. nine. Yeah. <laughs> Monday morning. Today, a deadly crash in Rose Park. Police say it started as a call for a drunk driver, which started a chase. At 1200 West and 500 North, the suspect vehicle hit another car. The driver of that car died. The passenger of the suspect vehicle was taken to the hospital. The driver was arrested and could face charges of DUI as well as charges related to the death. Still to come, BYU.